Hey, what's up guys? So I decided that I would try to keep things a little bit more regular as far as videos. Um, so I've been trying to come up with stuff to show you guys and um, here's the tank that I wanted to show you guys. Alright, if you guys keep up with me on Instagram, I did a mock-up of this tank um, a few months ago where I just showed the roots without any plants in it, without any water. Um, and this is kind of what ended up happening. Um, in here I have a couple of uh, black tiger mattis and some crow weed in the back and a bunch of other plants like AR mini I have some coral moss back there and um, I just threw in some some daphnia so the fish will come out and eat but uh, yeah I kind of like how this tank turned out it's right next to my chair where I like to sit so I spend a lot of hours staring at this tank oh and there's uh, one pygmy corridor in there yeah these are uh, I wanted to get these fish for the longest time and I finally got them. And they're, they're not that easy to get, but all of a sudden it seemed like they were easy to get for a while or everyone was selling them. So I was lucky enough to pick some up, but sadly I didn't get any females of these. Otherwise I would have tried to breed them. Alright, here's another tank that I never really showed you guys for a while. And in here I have a bunch of other plants as well and a pair of Epistogramo. Um, and the ZZ eyes in here. There's these, this pair is really young and actually I'm not sure. I'm hoping that's the, the male right there and that's the female that he's chasing. Um, let's see if I can find that fish. There's another fish in here that I think is pretty interesting which is a um, rainbow fish that I accidentally spawned so it is a hybrid. Um, it, here it is. It doesn't look like any of the rainbow fish in the, in the tank above here. This is where it actually is. Like, so it's some kind of combination of the rainbow fish I have in this tank. Um, but yeah, somehow I got this little guy. And the body is like really elongated. So it doesn't look like any of the other rainbows. I can't really tell what the parents are. But yeah, I, I enjoy this tank too going quite nicely. Look at this guy. Not the rainbow, get out of the way rainbow. But um, this guy right over here. Move it. <laughs> Come on, get out of the camera. These guys are, they love the camera. But um, this, this goby looking guy back there, if I could get a shot of him, um, is what I'm trying to show you guys. But this is the only native Hawaiian tank, um, native Hawaiian fish that I have. And it's called a opu. I forgot what the second part of the name is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Gobi like fish. In here I have my scarlet handlers. It's a little colony. This is my, my jar that I had the longest time. Um, right now it's full of fissidens as you can see. And um, some kind of dwarf lily in here. But um, I usually don't really fall for handlers, but for some reason this um, straight caught my eye. Uh, let's see if I can get that guy in focus. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Anyway, that's that little tank. Alright, we're here in my downstairs fish room and let's take a look at some tanks. Alright, I just turned on the lights so a lot of these fish are sleeping but um, this is my Daisy's rice fish tank. This is the tank that I keep them in. And um, there are some fry in here. There's more than what I started out with. Um, what I like, like to do is I take out this spawny mop every day. I search it for eggs and then I put the eggs in this tub up here for them to hatch out. And then let's see over here. I have um, Beta Chinoides fry. They're really hard to see but there's about five of them in here but um i just did a video on those oh look an empty tank i don't know what i'm gonna put in it yet but it's nice to have an empty tank only a, one little shrimp in there that doesn't count and then right in, down here is a tank that i'm trying to raise some um, super red plecos along with these um long fin white clouds but um i have been able to breed them once in a while they throw some 
fry here and there, and sometimes I'll throw some some sponge mops up here. I see some eggs in them too. Same thing with this one for some more. Another egg hatching contraption. This is my hill stream tank. You guys haven't seen this in a while. These white clouds. Then I stuck these um, Opisto Grandma Cockatoides fry in here. They're growing kind of big. Pretty soon I'll be able to suck them out and start getting rid of them. Probably just keep a pair of them around and give away the rest. And this is an interesting tank here. This is my colony of crocodile toothpick fish along with some um, blue axolotis lesboras. Um, and the other day I actually found I finally found a toothpick fry. One single one. I didn't find any others but uh, I've been trying to breed these for a long time. I hatch out some baby brine shrimp for it every day in hopes that it would work and at least there's one. Hopefully I'll get more. Let's see if we can get a shot of one of these toothpick fish. Alright there's one right there. That's what these little guys look like. Really interesting. At least this is my Opai Ula tank and in here I have um, these Opaifulas, which is like a Hawaiian shrimp um, from the Big Island, and as well as I have some nerite snails in this brackish water. And I heard that um, nerite snails actually breed in brackish water, so hopefully, with some luck, I'll breed these nerite snails because they ain't common here. And there's a bunch more over here, cool little guys. Uh, but uh, what I really wanted to show you guys is this guppies. Uh, these are the super Dumbo Dragon um, guppies that I got from Twin City Guppies. And these are the males and they look really spectacular. Let's see if you can zoom up on some of them. Awesome looking string. Uh, they're kind of like the Dumbo Mosaics but the tail pattern is, is kind of different in a way. Yeah, look at these guys. Super nice stream. It's hard to keep these guys in focus. Really nice stream and they're successfully breeding in here. Look really good and it's you know a pretty nice tank I must say so myself too. Been getting in focus. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys wanted to see anything in particular, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.